all right everybody welcome to your 18th angular js tutorial and in this tutorial before starting this one i would like to discuss a couple of things with you first thing that you guys are not seeing 1 to 17th tutorial here because when i upgraded to windows 10 which was launched uh, last month i corrupted some of the files and i guess i didn't took backup of angular js folder but my bad but it doesn't even matter because uh, I don't know so the next thing I was about to tell you guys was that I'm sorry for the long delay which we had between the 17th and this tutorial of AngularJS because I was just occupied with some important stuff but from now onwards I'll be continuing with the series so thanks guys for supporting me so far and I hope you'll do in the future as well so from the last tutorial with the 17th tutorial ending what we learned is that we can create a simple angular js search box inside a web page without even touching javascript code so this was the basic structure of a page and this was the output of the page now for the convenience i have right now hard coded the json record file which we had already made in the 17th tutorial and we were loading it with the HTTP service so you know I'm lazy enough to start a server right now on the computer so you know anyways now in this tutorial what we'll be doing basically is we will be creating an advanced kind of search box so in the this one search box what we can do is we can simply sort the people on their names only but with this search box we could sort them on the other properties as well so let's say I add some more properties here uh, let's say I add favorite color as orange oh not a semicolon actually I'll just copy and paste this line and why not just copy this one so here you go okay so this one is orange this one is black uh, who does have a favorite color as black well red green and why not blue okay so now we have three properties per record so to populate that in HTML let's say I create name as person name then age as person's age and then favorite color as person dot and I guess I should just change this to you know a underscore because a dash might create some problems so here you go now let's look this in the browser so you see that okay uh, okay so I didn't save the controller JS file so you see that the favorite colors also pop up in the HTML now and I'll just give it a little bit of space so that it's more readable alright so now oh I'm sorry for being such a freak but you know I really want that visible to you guys here you go awesome let's just remove that well you know I'm out of touch with angular so okay so we have got name as Mehul age 18 favorite color orange now let's create individual search boxes for each one of them so here I have my search boxes and we'll keep the ng model of search box uh, or j let's just remove that right now and we'll keep the name persons in person and filter search box we'll change this one alright so instead of the search box let's type 
search um, global search and now what we are going to do is instead of just typing ng model as search global search we'll do something like this I'll explain in a minute what I'm doing alright so what the heck have I done here so this one is the global search filter and this would f filter out anything you type so this would become clear in a moment so this is just the name search filter this is just the age search filter and this one is just the color search filter so <coughs> here we have the browser let's reload this page and, and as you can see we get four search boxes in a straight line you see so this global search filter what it would do is it will just s filter in everything which is present inside the records which are being displayed here so what I mean by this is let's say I have two blue colors right here and when I reload then when I type blue then you can see that both of these are filtered out but what would happen in the name search filter is whenever I type blue then nothing happens because nobody has the name blue and the name blue here refers to the name property of this record so this name is exclusively filtering these five only so whatever you type here if it is not present in these five then it would just show you empty result similarly in the age this would only filter out for numbers and nothing else so similarly for the color one this would only uh, filter out the blue one and what's the difference between this one and this one is probably I guess you must have guessed by now is that global search filter is not bound to any of the filters it would filter out anything so you see that when I typed R it showed me three result with three different colors but because all of these contains uh, R in their color R and R and whatever I don't know yeah so his name starts with R red is R is in red and R is in orange so these three records are filter out so that's how you work more in a more advanced way with filters in angular js and while making a search box so i think that this is a much cleaner approach to create search boxes when you have a lot of records when you don't want to get messed up with the javascript so i guess that much was enough for you guys in this tutorial and we'll be continuing with this only or maybe something else with angular in the next tutorial so don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then